you're back That's crazy after being a movie star for, for oh, some yeah, time here last how, how was it uh, you know out there doing my thug pizzle you're already you're already yeah. to the point of uh this is old news yeah, yeah, yeah. movie star ah. no, i was impressed um, by what i seen i was a, hey get you get that boy oscar i said i get said boy you oscar know. yeah you know he's you gonna know. get oscar the grouch it's coming it's coming it's coming uh we did a good job i thought um I'm working with people that I, I so boy, my main guy, shout out. Uh, I know him since, since 05. So my, based on knowing him is like whoever he brings to me, it's like, all right, there's already a level of trust and so on and so forth. But um, working with practically a production crew that I've only met on Zoom like less than a half dozen times, two or three times. I went out there with uh, my uh, acting coach and... Um, Going out there, we we were kind of skeptical about what we were gonna shoot. We were like, ah, I think we need a little bit more than that. So, actually, going out there, we sh- we we shot more than we expected to shoot. The shoot lasted from about five o'clock till a little after midnight. And um, remember, I told you I get arrested in the movie. So the last the last little scene that we shot was me me getting thrown on on the police car, getting arrested. So. Um, everything in between and we we started off with some fire I can't wait for that click to come in that ain't what you've seen so oh, you okay. said you was in, impressed yeah, I was he's impressed. impressed with some uh y'all should be seeing it now some action shots oh hold, hold on <laughs> was you impressed because that's you know he's tough know, oh, yeah I don't think did you I see it I don't know if I saw it's it oh I made yeah. a joke about it oh. <laughs> yeah he did because it, it was it was him get you getting Hit, yeah, and I see it. We saw Terrence Crawford fight. I get yeah, it. Yeah, you did. Damn. You did. You did. Damn. I will say this: yeah. and shout, shout out to our listeners and, and viewers or fans, however you want to look at it. So when Sean was describing it last week, <laughs> I obviously can't <laughs> see him. Classic. But I'm sitting there and I'm thinking, yeah, it sounds like Fight Night Champion, the, the, the story <laughs> mode. And I was like, whatever. And there are differences. And then the comments like, man, that sounds like Fight Night <laughs> Story <laughs> Mode. I was like. Come on, here we go. So you told me, yeah. I, you know, I'm not a gamer, so I, yeah. I, I, didn't even I don't, know that. I don't even remember. I, I didn't and know, I played it. I didn't know the fight that had a storyline, right? I don't remember. So it wasn't a good one. Here's my thing. I really don't. I don't attach myself to much, and if I do, I'm not attaching myself to nothing that I feel is gonna fail, right? Yeah. So when, as soon as you hit me on it, I hit them on it like, yeah. immediately. And they said the uh, the writer, the initial writer of the movie, says that he has heard there are, that there are some similarities between his story, definitely some the story yeah. of round one and the story of uh, yeah. Fight Night. He said, but uh, he did not when he he said he hadn't played the game yeah. until he had heard That's that funny. same thing. He said, so he does see where there are some similarities. He said, but it's just basically my creativity went the way that it went. And where he felt like he was coming up short was on the boxing side of things. And that's why he included Boyd. Boyd was uh, a part of the WCAT program. That's the Armed Forces uh, program for, uh, for, the, for, the, for sports, actually. And uh, he was in the boxing program, of course. And um, he's, he's, he said that uh, he wanted this, this movie to be more authentic than, than um, I guess, more of the other boxing movies that have come out recently or whatever. And um, initially, they were gonna. They wanted to uh, cast a boxer in this lead role, and um, you know, one thing led to another, and now I'm I'm gonna be playing the lead role. So, what, um, as the expert here, as I tell, what is the most realistic boxing movie action wise, oh. other than Round One coming soon to theaters? <laughs> Sundance Festival. Um, I'll be there. I'm hoping to get into some festivals with this. Bad Akron one. Civic Theater. <laughs> <laughs> I don't none, think of any stick out. <laughs> like I love, I love Raging Bull and the Rocky movies, and neither one are that uh, realistic. Raging Bull was the first one that I thought. Yeah, of. Raging Bull had some, yeah. but then it had like Sugar Ray Robinson <laughs> cock his right hand to the heavens, and then like, it was, the one, the, uh, the one that I thought of. The, go ahead, you had a thought. Uh, what well, which movie was it? Um, Hands of Stone was was decent action wise I, I think I remember the Tyson movie with Michael J. White having some <laughs> decent scenes the BET special no, no, it was HBO do it was HBO it was HBO, oh, man. Oh, it was HBO. Oh, don't do that the, the, one, the first thing I thought of not in, in a sense of, of realism was uh, Southpaw not Terrible. not based on that, but the, the fact that he he switches for the, for the last punch. terrible movie. He's like South Park switch, whatever it was, and then just like <laughs> slightly alters his stance and throws like the strongest haymaker of all time and ices him. I was like, I yeah, want to make this boxing episode movie about, logic. I was yeah. gonna, I want to make this episode about movies, but that people were raving about South Park, and I was just like, 
It's an awful movie. Oh, it wasn't good. <laughs> yeah, it didn't. Southpaw didn't. didn't Just because someone it. dies in the first 10 minutes doesn't mean the plot's good. Have yeah. you ever seen Look. Price of Glory? Say it again. The Price of Glory. I saw, uh, I've seen parts where the Mexican dad, yeah, and the, yeah, it, there yeah. was some some scenes in there that seemed very real yeah, and so raw. And that was the yeah. second one that, that I thought of. Didn't Michael B. Jordan Good actually movie. get Check knocked out. out or knocked knocked down in a in filming of one of the Creed That's movies? what I heard, yeah. Listen. He actually wore like a solid shot. Yeah, that's what I heard. <laughs> and then we'll probably leave Shout it at here. Bell, but yeah. going in, I said, all right, I said, I'm, I'm prepared to take some punches to make this movie like what it needs to be. That's before having the conversation about it being more authentic. Yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. Kind of, I just, for myself, I was like, maybe that's what's missing. And maybe yeah. I can, you know, I've taken punches before I can fill the void. We get in there to do the uh, the boxing scenes, right? And I get that one. <laughs> like, I don't want to touch That is funny. I don't want to feel anything. And hopefully y'all see the clips as they, they're being shown again by our producer <laughs> that it looks like I get hit. Imagine having somebody stand in for you in a boxing shot. Yeah, stuntman. A stuntman. Yeah. Like, hey, stuntman, please step in. Hey, I'm I'm Kareem, no more. Kareem, Kareem Mayfield man. just walks in. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Kareem Mayfield might be might be interested. <laughs> I, I, Ali, I, I, don't, Ali. I don't remember the action scene. James Tony is Ali. Joe Frazier. Yeah, yeah. Ali, was Ali was a good. Ali was a really good I, movie. If I have to go to him, I got such high expectations that just couldn't reach him. I got to go to my guy's favorites, Rockies. Those are the most realistic. Yeah, <laughs> the most unrealistic. Oh, hey, I know people that think Rocky was a real boxer. You mean Apollo Creed's one twos weren't nice? Oh, they were the nicest. Just, oh, what's his name? Uh, what's Tommy, his name? Tommy Gunn? No, no, no. Uh, Apollo. He. Apollo, Carl Weathers does Carl have Weathers, the swag. He does have the swag. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah. Somebody posted a picture of Ty- Tyron Woodley yesterday and Apollo Creed after the Drago. Oh, uh, with oh, the oh, yeah, it was all bad. Are you calling Apollo his real name? No, no, no. I'm about to say his, real, his name is Apollo. Apollo, Apollo died Creed. fighting yeah. for this country, yeah. Carson. Very true. Carl and one of the best. And the walkout the was one of the best. Oh, Living man. in America was unreal. Yeah, you know, so some people just who they are. Think of an actor that you will always. He always. Uh, Steve Urkel. Coach Bombay. Steve Urkel. Is Emilio Estevez. Yeah. Steve Urkel. Who you got? <laughs> what about? They're not their real name. They're Steve Urkel. Uh caught me off guard with I was trying to think of one while Sean was still talking about the answer. I can't there, there's there's tons of them but I can't yeah, think of one yeah, off top. There are tons. All right. It's boxing. Huh? Yeah. It would be uh, uh my bad. No, yeah, we, no. I was going to okay. say Medea. Like everybody thinks okay. Medea is mm. a Perry. real no, everybody thinks Medea is Medea, you know, mm. so yeah, anyway, I can't, I can't yeah. think of one off top, but hey, if you call if you call that dude Medea in public, I'm dying. Oh, man. Yeah. Hey, Madea, what's up? Too. He looks big too. You don't think people do that to him? They probably do. Tyler Perry looks like he's like six foot. People three see me out and they say, "Yo, know. Showtime Sean P." Like that's my real name. Yeah. I'm gonna start calling you Vince <laughs> or Shane or Shane Mosley. Other yeah, time, man. have so a bladed birthday. Shane maybe Mosley last thing about the movie is yeah. dude is from the the Bronx. Okay, so I Raging might Bull. end up on here talking like I'm from the Bronx. Okay, give him be the black Raging Bull. Give, give him some black. Go. Give him a black dude from the Bronx. Come Best on. rapper from the Bronx. Let's go. <laughs> from you, the Bronx. Yeah. Wait, this is two different things. <laughs> Pun. <laughs> Probably big pun. Probably right, big pun. Right, right, and then right. give us a black dude from the Bronx. Oh man, I'm on the spot. <laughs> no, don't I do can't. it. Don't do it. It's too racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's too racist. Yeah. Yeah. I'm tripping right now. I'm tripping. I know. I'm tripping. We'll see. Don't Sean, do it. We'll see if Sean picks up a, a Bronx accent. Yeah, yeah. That'll, that'll wow. be fun. So. What's up? I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm it. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All do right. it. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.